What are we up to? Okay, we're just gonna do a quick count and see how many cars we actually have. I've got to list some for sale, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm out of room. I'm starting to enroach, encroach, impinge, trespass even, you might say. Okay, so. Guys, I already put this in a video. Nobody's gotten a hold of me. This thing runs excellent. It was Avery's. It's got a huge high ab on it. Four wheel drive. Needs power steering, tires. Um, power steering and tires. Oh, and the drive shaft fix. It was four wheel drive. Uh, heavy duty truck. It was built for, for the oil patch. You can't fire it up and drive it out of here. We drove it here. It's got to go. I was asking 10, somebody comes up with 5,000 cash, they can take it away from here. That's this week. Another week, it's back up to 10, because it should be worth 10 all day long. This one, we just hauled back from the States. I don't really want to sell it yet, but uh, runs and drives, 360 factory air. Somebody makes me a stupid offer, it could be theirs. Needs an inspection, but it was imported into Canada. I'm going to pay for work. Uh, you can't, true. you cannot sell the fifth wheel. That's my home. I own it though. Okay. This one we just bought back from Dubs. What? This one we just bought back from Dubs. You had it at the auction. Ultra rare, 41, three, three window, uh, luxury liner business coupe. I don't really want to sell it, but I mean, if somebody makes me a stupid offer, it'll have to be somewhere around 10 grand. Cause this is a rare car. That makes what? One, two, three, three. Uh, the 41's not for sale yet, I gotta do something with it, but that's four. This one, we have a plan, this might end up on top of this, is five. Okay, that one doesn't count its parts. This one is a parts car. I have a 62 four-speed Impala SS. I think it has most of the chrome, so let me put a straight axle on it. It needs a frame. This frame is shot, but this is the parts car for the 62. So was that four? This is Yard Art five. Oh. This one, it does have, there's a, there's no paperwork yet. I'm working on it. It is restorable. It's a 68 Chevelle. It was buckets console, still has the buckets console. It was a vinyl top car, you can tell by the chrome. Uh, I bought it, I needed some trim parts for my car, but it's still basically complete. Uh, there's the hood. Uh, my 68 SS was in worse shape than this when we first started on it. So any of you Chevy guys out there, this could be yours. Five, uh, that was all for sale. Um, six. Okay. For any of you diehard Mopar fans out there, this one is rough. It is very rough, but I do have a set of brand new full quarters. It's a 71 340 Super B, a real one. So it's one of 269 automatic 340 71Bs. Uh, pretty sure it has the matching numbers motor in it. Uh, needs a ton of work. The rails are really good, but the quarters are gone. The roof is gone. Those buckets, column shift, has PC reg, but I do have a set of brand new full AMD quarters, but it does need roof. And it needs trunk, but it is a 340-71 Super V. Okay. Uh, here we have a 57 Bel Air two-door hardtop. Don't let the patina fool. Don't let the patina fool you. This is a super solid car. There was the, the original paint. Blair did uh, full quarters on this for a client years ago. The guy never did anything with it. I mean, this is all just surface. It's, those are new quarters. Floor was welded up. It's been mini tubbed at the back. And it has the springs moved in board. And it has a really mint front clip for it sitting over here. Here's the front hood. Fenders, couple small things, but like really nice sheet metal. Okay. Um, the one up there on the rotisserie is a 1968 big block sports satellite, two door hardtop, factory buckets console, disc brakes, factory tack. Um, I've got 30 grand into the sheet metal work on, on the way the car sits. Does have good BC paperwork. Comes with a 383 core and a 727, but I got 30 grand into it. Uh, it's got new fenders, new full quarters, new floors, new trunk, uh, two new frame rails. Uh, anyway, basically it's been uh, totally rebody. In front of that, 
but the only thing we can get at it is a, uh, we might be able to take a look, maybe not. Okay, that one will have to wait. We do have a 1972 Barracuda here. Uh, all the sheet metal work's been done. We just cannot get to it. So anyway, that one is there. Okay, so the Cuda, Cuda I want 25 grand for. Um, Canadian. Yes. Um, this one here, it needs frame rails. I know it doesn't look like much. I'm in the process of getting paperwork, but it is first year Camaro convertible. Needs both frame rails. I do have a good set of doors, a set of GM original fenders, and a hood for it. No uh, rear end. There might be one kicking out here, but floors are fairly solid, but it needs both frame rails. But it, uh, the uh, gauges and everything are in the back here. I think we found them the other day, did we not? What did we do with, yes, gauges, factory tack, all the good stuff is sitting here when JF was here. In this piece is, in the beauty with Camaros, you can buy all the parts you need. And this thing needs a few parts. Anyway, that one I'm open to serious offers on. Uh, continuing in the Chevy crowd, we have a 62 Acadian convertible. I'd like 7,500 bucks, our best offer for it. It's basically complete. Sure, it's gonna need a ton of work, but it's a pretty rare car. I do not have paperwork, does as a VIN, comes with a bill of sale. Um, what else we got? 1968 Coronet 500 convertible. It does run. I've bought it back twice now. <laughs> Blair actually owned it for a brief period of time after the last auction. Uh, anyway, I'd like 15 grand. It's Bucket's console car. Runs. Like most Mopars, it's going to need a ton of work, but it is what it is. It is a B body, it is a Bucket console, and it's a convertible. Um, we have a 68 Charger that's not for sale yet. I do have all the upholstery, front glass, rear glass for it. Um, sitting next to it is a really clean 79 or 80, I, I, I forget, Magnum. Uh, might run, I'm not sure anyway, it's, it's a Magnum. Um, Let's see it. What else do we have? Let's God, see it. Oh, it never see it. ends. Uh, we have an next race car, 65 Caliente. Motor seized, it was a 400 horse 302. Uh, could be a drag car. You have to have a parts car to put it back stock. This one, we don't know if it runs yet. Has one major dent, it's a 67 Cadillac. Coupe de Ville, two door hard top convertible. Seven tire option. Uh, yes, well it comes with a few extra rims, but it could run, I don't know. Anyway, it's been parked a while. Body's really solid. The one door has a major ding. My buddy that used to own it backed into it with a skid steer. He did that here on a couple of my cars with my skid steer anyway. And why'd you buy that? Um, it came as a package deal. It was one of Dave's cars. Oh. Okay, anyway, long story. Uh, over here, uh, could be for sale, 70 Coronet. It's got a Super B front clip on it, Super B hood, Super B front end. Anyway, use some rust issues as a vinyl top car, but it's a pretty cool shell. It needs quarters, rockers as always. This one comes with a really good body. This is a numbers match. Um, 1974 Roadrunner. Uh, original silver. The body is super rust, rough, but I do have a really good two-door hardtop shell that goes, goes with it. Uh, I don't have paperwork yet, but we do have the original numbers matching 404 speed and the 833 tranny. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a 64 Malibu S four speed convertible. Frame is pooched. We're probably gonna take two of these to build one. I'm hoping this might be the car that we drive across Canada. This one, well, being with the other one. This one is a 1969 Coronet RT. Uh, it was a 440 four-speed car, so it should have had a Dana in it. I do have a Dana for it. I do have a four-speed for it. Um, needs a lot of work, but it's a super rare car. Uh, so are we counting? Are we stopping? Oh, over there is a 69 Super B. I don't know if I'm going to let that one go or not. The one next to it is 66 El Camino. Uh, this one here, the white one with the stripes, is a 68 Roadrunner. Two-door post car. Let's go to see that. Anyway. So the, these are some of the projects. I'd like to see some of them go to a good home. 
see anything you're interested in. I mean, I'm gonna be taking pictures and prices and putting them up. Oh, I know we have some more Chevy stuff here. So we'll call this a sneak peek. Sneak peek, right? Um, here we have another, uh, I think this is a 62 Acadian. I might have paperwork for this, I'm not sure. I have to look. Two door post, make a great drag car. Uh, you can get fenders, these are fixable. Fairly solid shell, right? Cliff bench. Anyway, behind it, that was 64 Nova. That one's good for drag shell. Uh, we have a couple 68, 69 El Caminos. You make one out of the two. The 67 El Camino is an excellent body. Oh, fuck. I'm going to spray that. I'm just going to bend the hinges. So, okay, sorry, this was... 60... No, no, this is the Acadian? No. Yes, this is an Acadian. This is a Nova. Nova. Uh, I might have paperwork on this. I have to look and see. Somebody took the VIN, but there's a VIN stamped here, so I might be able to get a VIN back because he's had, like, a secret VIN. Over there, we have a 70 Super D with a BFR attached to it. Big f***ing rock. Uh, that one is not for sale. The Firefly is not for sale. Here's another... Uh, 68 Coronet Ragtop. It's actually a super solid shell. Um, it actually runs. It's more than a shell. It runs as well. I've had it running. Um, the El Camino. Right. The 67 El Camino. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to buy a big block hood for it and put it on it because that this is a super solid car. Motor seized, but it's got buckets, console, disc brakes, 12 bolt. Super easy builder if a guy wanted to. If he had a drive line. How much? Um, thinking right the way it sits, it's got to be 25, 30 grand. Otherwise, I'm just going to put a motor in it and repaint it, and I'll be asking 40 or 50. It's a super solid car. Like. Sound of metal. You can see it, it, it was original green. I mean, this thing hasn't been on the road now for. Uh, since 2009, but it does need it need, needs a repaint and a refreshing. Let's, this, let's, let's, let's see those cars that you pointed out that were further away. Like was there a Suvi? Or, like, there was uh, some... This one here is super solid, very rare car. This is a Coronet 569. We've done the quarters, done the trunk, um, uh, floor pans done. I'm looking at 25 grand, and I'll throw in a 440 core and a 727 core. Uh, guy could build it as a rat rod or it's ready for body and paint. It's a nice rat rod, guy. It's super solid. Um, anyway, this one here is another one. Needs a home. It doesn't look like much, but it's a real 69 Roadrunner. Uh, anyway. That's some junk. Anyway, that's partial junk listing. Are you, oh. okay? Are you okay? Yes. No, I'm not. Anyway, this... Here's the other 62. We talked about the parts car. This is the SS, original four-speed car, super rare. Uh, I should actually run the numbers through GM of Canada to see if it was a 283 or a 409 car, but somebody put a straight axle in it, but any of the old Pontiac, uh, Canadian Pontiacs, frames are the same, the X frame. I think 62 to 64, basically a bolt-in. So anyway, that's some of the junk. Uh, said everything's for sale. If you're interested, Get in touch with us, um, info at Russ Brothers. Uh, let me know. Okay, guys, peace, love, and joy. Those that have should give. So if you got a lot of money, you, you can give me some, and I'll give you some junk. Have a good day.